You are absolutely correct, sir. The Snake River Canyon was created when Lake Bonneville breached in northern Idaho and the lake drained into the ocean through Oregon. This is actually the path. So if you don't know what we're talking about, go watch my last video where I filmed and talked about the history of Lake Bonneville in the state of Utah and how there used to be this huge lake 30,000 years ago. It was a freshwater lake that then burst and drained right through here and then drained through the Snake River all the way out into the ocean. So let's take a look. Lake Bonneville, which was a freshwater lake that has now drained and shrunk down and actually burst and went up through the Snake River that way. And now the only thing that remains is the uh, Salt Lake, the Great Salt Lake, which is now it has all evaporated and been drained down what was left of it and is now a saline or, or saltwater lake. In my last video, I was talking about megafauna and prehistoric animals and all this stuff and before the Ice Age and all this. And I was showing how this was all filled with water and there was lakes up here. And this used to be a prehistoric uh, marshland that connected all the way out. 94 million years ago, this is what North America actually used to look like. It was completely like an entire waterway all the way through here. And this is like the Rocky Mountains, the Wasatch Mountain Range right up here and this whole fault line. And everything right here is all under the ocean. So when you wonder how come we find like fossils of giant fish and coral reef and everything up in the mountains of Utah, now you know why. I mean, 94 million years ago, it used to all look like this and be underwater. Isn't that pretty mind blowing? It's actually really beautiful and imagine like, how amazing the oceanfront property would have been back then. But yeah, where I live right now, completely under the ocean. In the early Cretaceous period, look how close Africa was. It was like sitting here spooning with South America, getting all friendly. 94 million years ago, where your house is right now, if you live over here in the Western United States, is completely different and under the ocean. So 30,000 years ago, you had Lake Lahontan in, I'm probably saying that totally wrong, in Nevada and Lake Bonneville in Utah. But yeah, when it burst, it didn't go down this way to the southwest and go through Nevada. It went through Red Rock Pass and then it went and followed the Snake River all the way out the west coast that way. Now you have the Great Salt Lake and then you have all of the salt flats. And part of it is global warming and the evaporation and Lake Bonneville bursting and collapsing and flooding and draining the whole basin out. There's also companies like Compass Minerals that have literally been strip mining the entire valley out there for salt, potash, lithium, uh, fertilizer compounds and all kinds of stuff. And they're draining uh, the Salt Lake by about up to 7% every year. There's a lot of industry that have been utilizing this area and it's been draining the water and now it's creating a big problem. It's estimated that in the next few decades, if this keeps going, then there's gonna be big clouds of arsenic from dried up areas of the Salt Lake that basically go up in a cloud, like a cloud of arsenic into the air that could blow over the population of Salt Lake City and the whole valley. Over in Nevada, we all know that most of this land, like close to up to 70% of the state of Nevada up here is all government facilities. Area 51's all out here, the Nevada test site where they do all the nuclear testing and all of that. Uh, Dugway Airfield is in Utah, is out here on the Salt Flats, just west of, of like Lehigh over in this area. But all, most of this has dried up as well and is just a bunch of dried lake beds. But there is still Pyramid Lake and Pyramid Lake is a beautiful area. It's a big lake and it has this huge rock formation that looks like an old pyramid where people go fishing and go recreating. But it's also really fascinating because it has some of the oldest petroglyphs known in North America. These ancient petroglyph carvings found around Pyramid Lake are over 10,000 years old. That means that they're older in North America in the state of Nevada than some of the pyramids in Egypt. Nobody really knows what they mean, but they're really cool designs. 
Like these almost look like fish bones and fish scales, but they're so big and everything. And who knows, 10,000 years ago, what Pyramid Lake actually looked like when these were carved, but that was a long time ago. I think it's really fascinating to look at ancient maps like this of what the world used to look like. And then when you go hiking around, it gives you some context as to what you're seeing and why everything looks like it was underwater and why you might be finding ancient fossils or petrified dinosaur tracks and bones or ancient carvings around a location and you wonder why were they way up there why were they way down here well maybe the water levels were a lot different back then but it's kind of cool to know all of this stuff and look into the history when you go hiking around it gives you more context as about uh, what was going on back in the day and where the water level was and it was a totally different world